This is a paid advertisement brought to you by the Metropoville Chamber of Commerce. Local crime on the rise, neighborhoods falling apart, businesses closing, no job, no credit, crime taking over your city, hospital lines insane, city officials corrupt beyond measure. Move to Metropoville. Bus, boat, fly, or hitchhike. Please don't hitchhike. Just make your way to Metropoville and come to our help center. And we'll get you started with our 12 Steps of Success informational booklet. You're guaranteed to succeed. Not actual guarantee. You can become anything here in Metropoville. A chef, a businessman, a doctor, a police officer. Boy, you might even take my job. Wait, what? <clears throat> so, come visit the Help Center here in Metropoville. Your life quest begins now. I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Life Quest 2, Metropoville. I had no idea that they made a sequel until I actually, you know, knew that there was a sequel. Um, <clears throat> anyway, if you didn't know, I actually did a Let's Play of the first Life Quest, and uh, you can go check that out on my channel, but knowing that there was a sequel, I just had to play it. Um, this isn't going to be quite a blind Let's Play. I have played it a little bit, and uh, it seems fairly similar to the first one. There are a few differences, and uh, we will explore those. So, we need to rename. Okay. Welcome to your new life. It's time to decide how you'd like to look. First, choose a gender, head, and body type. Then, if you like, click Change Colors to customize your look. Right. Well, you can tell right away <coughs> that the art style in this one uh, was done by a female artist, as opposed to the last game, which was very much cartoony and probably done by a male artist. I mean, guys do not draw girls with uh, body types like that. It's much more realistic than uh, what guys typically draw. Wow, none of these, <laughs> none of these really stand out to me. We're circling. that one. That one, okay. That's probably close enough. Um, bean pole. We'll go with it. Uh, change colors, though. I guess that's the eyes. It was find the way it was. I shouldn't mess with it. Um, what am I doing? Okay, I guess I can't change my shirt, but whatever. Welcome, friend, to Metropoville. I see that you're interested in our 12-step life quest program. Excellent. Click on the self-help center to get started. Right away, I just want to apologize for things being cut off because I had a heck of a time getting this to record in the first place. Uh, first of all, by default, it goes full screen and it kept telling me that it could not go into Windows mode because of my screen resolution, which didn't make any sense to me, so I had to use a, uh, a window software thing 
to get it to play in a window that I could actually record because recording it full screen actually made some of the animation flicker. I don't know what that's about. Anyway. Here you can see the 12 steps of our program represented as 12 wedges of pi. Each wedge represents a life quest and is made of three related life challenges. Most of them are locked for now. Try clicking on this unlocked wedge. Excellent! You've selected a life challenge and can now see the tasks you'll need to perform to complete it. Click Accept to get going. So this is a little bit different than the first game where you actually have goals independent of uh, competing with other rivals and that sort of thing. And rather than going down one path, you have several, which we will see later. It's time for you to explore the city and start your new life. Would you like me to continue helping you? Sure, why not? Great. Let's grab life by the horns. The first thing you'll oh, need you can is go a away. job. Click on City Hall. <laughs> Never mind. Next, select one of the jobs you're qualified for. Well, like the first game, I would kind of like to have a choice here, but uh, let's go with... Oh great, and he's in the way, so I can't even see what they require, or what they give. Let's go with a junior therapist. Now you can see the requirements for the job you've selected. When you're ready, click the Apply button. Right, well, I'm not ready. Uh, okay, so... Janitor, dishwasher... Actually, the janitor has less unhappiness and they all require the same thing otherwise. Um, well, looking at this, I assume that cleaner is the next step up. Fry cook is probably next up from dishwasher, and group therapist obviously being the uh, upgrade from junior therapist. So looking ahead will actually make a lot of... M a lot will make more money being a cleaner or a fry cook in the end. However, I imagine that the happiness is probably less than uh, this would be. Oh, we'll go with this. High five! You got the job! Now let's make some money. Click on your new workplace, as indicated by the work icon. I'm uneducated. How am I qualified to be a therapist? Oh well. Excellent! Now click the Work tab at the bottom of the screen. Next, click the Work button. You've done it! You've completed your first life challenge! Keep completing life challenges, and you'll be rewarded with money and happiness. Okay. Completing that life challenge has unlocked another part of this life quest. Go ahead, pick the next one. You can find vehicles at Rick's Rollers Vehicle Store on the east side of town. Okay, so I guess I'm getting a car. Or something. When you complete a life challenge, I'll unlock more locations for you. Keep completing life challenges if you want me to unlock the rest of the city. Right. So, uh... Let's look at... Welcome to the stat screen. Here you can find out how much charm, intelligence, and practicality you have. For more details on what these stats can do for you, click the Help button. Let's look at... Well, first of all, here we can change the default clothing. Uh, 
general information, my job information, college, university, fitness, family, friends, pets. None of this is what I'm looking for. Oh, crap. Because of the way I've got this going, I can't move the mouse any further down. Uh, let me figure this out. Okay, the solution was to restart the game. Uh, right. Well, what I was looking for was my quest log, but I think it wanted me to go over here anyway. Although, down there at the bottom, it's Did telling me I need that? to work. The dinner bell is your reminder that it's getting late and you haven't eaten yet today. When this fork and knife icon is red, that means you still need to eat. Try visiting right. the diner for some affordable food. Well, I guess I were walking back there. Way. Shea Great. What is Metropaville's most uh, affordable restaurant. Click on a food item for more details, then press eat. Uh, choose carefully. Some food items give you more happiness than others. So I've got 725 out of 1,000. This gives me 30, this gives me 40. Well, we may as well get the best stuff. The heart stopper. Oh boy. Great! You've satisfied your hunger for today. Be sure you eat every day, or you'll oversleep the following morning. Everyone kept saying that our spoons were too greasy, so we got rid of the spoons. Just use your hands to eat. <laughs> okay. Oh good, I can leave. Next task, have at least $30. Well, good. I'm glad it's keeping track of that for me. I would rather have a button, but uh, we'll just keep working. Oh, it's time to go to bed. Ah, what a rumble. busy day! You've used up all of your time units. When your time meter reaches zero, you have to go to sleep. Sleeping can recharge your time units up to the max level. Your current home is indicated by this house icon. You'll sleep in your home every night. Since you're new in town, you get a special happiness bonus. I don't really understand why, though, because I have no money. I'm wearing patched clothing. And I just ate a Heartstopper burger. My cholesterol Next, is uh, whatever. If you have any pets, they'll also give you a pet sleep bonus in the form of happiness. Every night, your time units reset to full capacity. If you head home early and go to sleep before the end of the day, you will get a time bonus. You'll also lose time units if you forget to eat. Can I just say, that guy is really loud. And in the end, you will wake up with this many time units for the next day. Finally, each day rewards you with life points that add to your total score. This screen shows you the details of your current life challenge. It'll also show how well your rival is progressing if you've challenged someone. After 100 days, I'll check in with you to see how many life quests you've completed and record your score. Don't worry, you can keep playing after that. Uh, I think there is an achievement to beat the game in 100 days. I've only played through like four, <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's possible for me. Work shifts at your job to earn money. Imagine that. Okay, so I need $30. And then I get to go to Rick's Rollers and buy a vehicle. Be sure to watch your happiness meter carefully. The happier you are, the earlier you'll wake up. That'll give you more time units for the day. Okay. Uh, let's go take care of the food thing since we gotta go this way anyhow. Uh, today I'm just gonna have the beans. I'm sure my co-workers will appreciate it. One pound of deep fried butter goes into every cholesterol. Mm -hmm, good. Right. I 
I shouldn't be eating here. It's going to kill me. Okay. Uh... You're well on your way to becoming an expert at your job. Being an expert gets you a 10% raise and can help you qualify for higher paying jobs at City Hall. Oh, I was I just going to mention... That all people are created equal. Some are just more equal than others. Ain't that the truth. Um... You know what? Let's just become an expert. Congrats! You're now an expert at your job. Be sure to visit City Hall to see if you now qualify for higher paying jobs. And I think I will. I was just... I hope I have enough time. We'll hit this on the way. Here at City Hall, you can browse the job board and plan your career. If you're not qualified for the job you want, take a look at its requirements to find out why. If I stare for long enough, I can kind of see through walls. Great. Minus 40 happiness. Okay, so what did the cleaner have? 40... Oh. So, uh... I actually should have been going for that all the time. Oh well. We will apply for group therapist. Now, before I go too far, let me just have a look here at uh, the end game. And in LifeQuest 2, professional athlete is the penultimate, no, is the ultimate job penultimate job would be the hedge fund manager who makes considerably less a professional athlete has a 90 negative 90 happiness the hookers and blow and overinflated paychecks and salaries don't don't make you happy what the heck I guess I could say the same thing about the hedge fund manager in the minus 80. So, uh, if we want to become a professional athlete, it's going to require a lot of stuff. It looks like we need courses. 200 intel... Oh, I was going to say... 1,000 practicality. Good grief. Well, <laughs> I'll look at that later. Uh, let's become a group therapist. Okay. Hopefully... Uh, I know I'm running out of time. We can make it. We can make it. At Rick's Rollers, you can buy vehicles to help you travel around the city more quickly. Saving time units in this way will help you get more done in a day. Get out of your dreams and into our cars. Right. Rick's Rollers... They don't appear to have an Astley Martin. Huh? Huh? Ah, oh, that's terrible. Okay. I can only afford a skateboard. I can almost afford a basket bike. Which, uh... Is actually quite a bit faster. <laughs> the basket makes it faster. Well, let's go with the skateboard so I can actually save some money for food. I don't have enough time to work anymore anyway, so skateboard it is. Oh, let's go with sort of a grayish blue. Actually, this is more of a grayish blue. I... I'm not a fan of how I'm holding my arms. That's weird. You're doing great! Now it's time to select the final piece of this life quest. Once this life challenge is finished, the startup life quest will be complete. You can find pets at I Can Has Pets Pet Store in the mall. Okay. 20 bucks. Buy a pet. Hmm. I think at this point, I should go home so I can get a bonus. I do have 20 bucks, though. Could I make it here? 
31, nine, I could. Metropaville Shopping Center, Mall in One, is the one-stop shop for all your, uh, shopping. Click a button below to visit one of the stores. Welcome to I Can Has Pets, Metropaville's pet store. Each pet you own will provide a pet sleep bonus that increases your happiness while you sleep at night. They are such cute animals. I'm sure you won't notice the smell after a while. Well, we generally don't. So we can only afford a fish right now, and the cheapest fish at that. Ooh, I can get a sea slug and be completely out of money. But it does give me a plus five sleep bonus to uh, the goldfish. Although if I saved up, I could get, I could double that. I'm totally getting myself a baby kraken. And I'm going to name it Cthulhu. Um, sea slug? Yeah. Totally. Okay. Amazing! You've completed your first life quest. There are 11 more in our program. Do you think you can complete them all by day 100? Who knows? Who can say? I feel like I'm off to a great start. I bet I can use the skills I'm learning to help out my old city. I... My old city. Look at that! Some new life challenges have been unlocked for you. Go ahead, pick one that interests you. Okay, we can go popularity, we can go fitness, or we can go academics. If we want to get the athletics, we should go this way. Or star athlete, or whatever that job was. But... We may be able to get some of the in-between jobs if we go academics. Let's go academics. Generally, taking the college courses will help us towards other things anyway, so let's do that. Five bucks, enroll in the college course, and complete it. That's actually pretty easy. Um, where does have 28 to finish fitness and chat with people around town to make friends? Now. Uh, one thing that I noticed was that you can actually complete many of these things at the same time. So while we're going around doing this stuff, if I meet someone and make a friend, it will uh, do this. So let's start the uh, academic. If you like, you can choose to compete against another citizen of Metropaville. You'll get a bonus if you complete the challenge before your rival. But don't worry, there's no penalty if you lose. Yeah, I think we can do this. So let's take an opponent, and it gets eight bucks. Woohoo! Nice work. You've earned a trophy. The first of many, no doubt. Click the View Trophies button to learn more about the other trophies you can win. Well... Yeah, this is all the achievement crap. There's one in particular, though. This one, the Starving Artist. Eat nothing for three days while being employed as a trapeze artist. That one's going to be a little bit more difficult, because some of these you can actually get done. What? Free your spouse from jail? Awesome. <laughs> uh, some of these you can actually just get done through the course of the game. Anyway. So let's go home. Uh, finish the day. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay. So.
So, uh, <coughs> like in the first game, you can compete against uh, the rivals, but the goal is not really to beat them so much as to get it all done within that hundred days. So rather than the strategy I employed in that game where I sort of bided my time and waited for them to catch up and then used that time to you know get more money or improve my skills and stuff, I'm just gonna motor through this and uh, see how that goes for me. Okay, but that will have to wait till next time. So I will see you then.